Call of Duty Zombies in 2022. Tell me, how do you feel when you hear that? I'm sure a lot of emotions come up, you know? Anger, hate, disappointment, disappointment, and maybe just a little bit more disappointment. And I'm sure it's no surprise to you by now that this is all because of Vanguard Zombies. I'm sure you know by now, this has become the most hated Call of Duty game for its zombies, although I don't think it's a stretch to say maybe it's multiplayer and campaign as well, but we're gonna focus on zombies in particular here. In the history of ever, <laughs> and like, I don't know if you noticed, but there's been a lot of Call of Duty games, many with zombies included, and for zombies to be at one of its lowest points here, if not an all-time low, then you know that something terrible has happened. <laughs> like, really bad. And to put it into short, the game is undercooked, there are barely any features, in fact it's half of the game that Cold War is. Very strange changes, a lacklustre story, a really boring gameplay loop with the only incentive being for camos, but what happens once you get the camo? You know, the mastery camo, and plus, it honestly doesn't look that good, okay? It's kinda doo-doo. It's just a stinker of a mastery camo. I mean, it's green as well, so, you know, it is actually stinky. Compare this to Dark Ether as well, and it, the difference is night and day. And overall, we are months into this zombie's experience, and we, j it feels like we're only half a step forward from where we started. Not even starting with the basic things like a ray gun, or any wonder weapon at all. I'll put a video here for you, it's in the iCard, it's just everything wrong with Vanguard Zombies, and although it was a few months ago, I think it still holds up today, because the only differences today is that there still isn't anything. We just have like one new map. But some big news has come recently from Treyarch themselves, they said they are going to be adding round based back to Zombies, it's basically going to be getting an overhaul. And so Vanguard is going to see itself in a different position, whether that's for the better of the game or for the worse. Because instead of round based, like usual Zombies gameplay, we have this weird outbreak style objective and that to me isn't the problem okay that they're going for this weird roguelite but at the same time outbreak style gameplay and listen i love a good roguelite or roguelike either or i mean hades man that game is so good it's actually one of my favorite games ever if you haven't played hades Go do that, okay? It's great. It's not the devs trying something new that I have a problem with, it's how it's been implemented and just the way it's been executed. I think Outbreak's good, but that's only because it's this big open space and you can go to whatever objective you want in it, whereas if you try and get that objective-based system and put it into Vanguard, it simply isn't gonna work and it's gonna feel very restricted, very repetitive, and clearly it hasn't worked and, spoiler alert, it still isn't. Not only is round-based making a grand return to zombies but also we're gonna be getting a remastered or remade or <laughs> as Treyarch are calling it reborn version of Shinonuma into Vanguard which is great I like Shinonuma we have already had Shinonuma remastered before to me it seems like another Black Ops 4 remake of a map just save on the assets and the time but less about what I think and more about what you all think so now that you are all up to speed here I don't want to keep waffling on about this stuff. Believe it or not, this is another episode of I Ask Zombies Players. You remember that? I do. And you Yo, bet your sweet, sweet bippy, bippy I missed it. I mean, the last one, I think, was nine months ago. Wow, it has been a long time. <laughs> okay. I released a poll on the old YouTube community tab asking if the Shinonuma Reborn and round-based maps are going to be enough to bring you all back into the world of Vanguard Zombies. And 81% of people said no, which isn't too surprising. 7% of people said yes, and 12% said maybe. And the amount of votes that this poll got was 1.5k. Nofall is going to be kicking this video off today, with their comments saying no, I think it will help the game. However, I think the entire community have all made our minds up on this game. To be honest, Shinonuma Reborn is literally just the Anfang, the void map, but with the original locked off areas from World at War, which was made in 2008. I hate to say it, but they have gotten lazier and could have made an original brand new map. Not reusing assets time and time again, we deserve better. Hopefully in 2024 we will have a better game from Treyarch. So what Nofall is saying here is honestly probably how the whole community feel, and I mean from the results of the poll, although that's not the whole community, the fact that such a high number of people said no to them coming back, I think definitely shows something. I gotta agree with the it will help the game aspect of the comment, 
because having round based is just more of an option for people to play. But I think it's a pretty insightful comment, the fact that they say the community has already made up their mind. It's too little, too late at this point. I think I'm personally going to give it a try. That does mean I'd have to install Vanguard again, but I think if the round base just doesn't work, or the Shinonuma remake, reborn, whatever, it just isn't it, then it'll be time to lower the casket that is Vanguard Zombies into the ground. Bloody gives us the next comment. They say, well, I mean, yeah. I paid almost $100 for the game, so if they put out something decent, then why wouldn't I try it? Now, I was blessed enough and lucky enough to not get the £100 version. I think it's like the Ultra Deluxe. I don't really know what they call it. The Super Ultra Deluxe Digital Mega Edition. That thing. I, I didn't get that. And I think this is a really interesting comment because when you pay 100 smackaroonies for something, you would really hope that you're going to be getting your money's worth from the thing you have paid for, because not everyone has that money to just throw at something. I'm sure they would want to get their money's worth, and so any content that is added to zombies or MP, anything, I'm sure that you would want to just try it anyway, in the hopes that maybe it would be worth going back to. But I do know the feeling of buying a game, especially like the higher editions, you know, the more expensive editions of a game, and then you just don't get your money's worth. It's a sucky feeling, and with Vanguard just being cheeks right now, bloody, you have my sympathies. Can we get an F for our boy bloody? VVVTTT says, not holding my breath. They've been constantly overhyping terrible zombies games slash updates, like the marketing for Black Ops Cold War Super Easter Egg, or the marketing behind Vanguard Zombies. <laughs> Oh, the Cold War Zombie Super Easter Egg. That was a whole thing that happened not even that long ago. And some people were fine with it, and some people were just seen red when they realised they would only get a purple tier weapon to begin with. And you know, to those people, I just want to say, you're wrong, okay? We got so much more from that. We got a Dr. Peck emblem, and I'm sure that this is a topic for a whole other video, so I'm not going to talk much about it. But as of late, yes, I think there is a lot of overhyping done on the zombies part trying to make things that were either already in Cold War and are coming to Vanguard seem like they're these insane new things. And obviously, yeah, that there is some kind of fault for the community for, for getting a bit too excited, maybe, or overvaluing what's being given to us and maybe that's kind of more where the super easter egg debate comes in but believe me i totally get both sides and like i said i could make a video about that but for vanguard zombies the trailer for that looked so much better than what we actually got i think the trailer really oversold the mode if you go and watch the vanguard trailer you'll think that looks pretty cool but then if you play the game you know exactly how it goes i remember being pretty excited i wasn't super hyped or anything so i don't even think my expectations were too high with Vanguard. But then at launch, when I, I booted up the game and I went on Zombies to do some videos and play it, I we got shafted. We really did. For the Cold War Super Easter Egg, I think there was some miscommunication, and for Vanguard Zombies, I do think it was really oversold. A comment from Billiam D reads, I'll play it. I just hate how much it is a super dumbed-down version of Cold War Zombies. Even if the game has good maps, I wouldn't like it that much. And this is where a huge problem with Vanguard Zombies lies to me, because it's not just the maps, it's not just the mode, but it is the way the game plays, it's the mechanics in the game, or lack thereof. And you could have a decent map, but if the gameplay isn't there, then it's just not gonna work well. Now, unless you're going for the camo grind with the Sigma male grind set, then you really aren't gonna have much to do in the game. It's just get in, do some random objectives that feel completely meaningless, get some perks, and it still is the same here as it always has been at launch. Once you've passed round 15, you have literally nothing to do anymore. There's the Easter egg on Terra Mal Addictor, but it's a very simple and relatively boring easter egg, so there's not actually much to do at all. So the maps could be good, but other than that, is it going to be enough to really bring anyone back still? Knight has dropped us a comment saying, Yes! I've been grinding multiplayer to max out the levels on all my guns so that they are ready to grind the camos when the map comes out. I'd actually like to give Knight some extra points here for being genuinely enthusiastic with this comment. I I'm actually not being sarcastic here, I think this level of 
of enthusiasm is great. And let me tell you now, I wish I could enjoy the game as much as this guy is. So this person is on that camo grind, not letting anything get in their way. As long as when a new map comes out, they can go on it, kick back and grind some camos. I think that's all they're really bothered about. So I guess Vanguard does still have an audience, really. There are still people that genuinely want to play the game and really do enjoy it, which I never thought I would see, but I'm pretty damn happy for you if you enjoy the game. Now we had one comment that was quite enthusiastic and very happy and, and light-hearted. Now this is about to be a comment that is on the complete opposite end of the scale here. Donut was taken, cool name, says, no, if they had to implement rounds, war buys, and a fucking pause menu after launch, their hope is lost. As you can see, the tone has changed drastically here, and this it does such a good job at showing the absolute parallels of Vanguard right now. There are actually people that enjoy it, and then there's people that despise it. But I really do hear what Donut's saying, because Treyarch trying to do their own thing with such a small development team, I'm sure, with this iteration of Zombies, I respect it, I, I really do, but the fact that they're doing a complete 180 now and just going back to round based, I'm not saying that's bad, but then what happens to what they were working on? I mean, they might have been able to change what was going on and maybe make it more enjoyable as the seasons went on, but clearly it wasn't working. And so now they're just like, okay boys, all hope is lost, we, we gotta just give them round based now. And yeah, the pause menu still technically isn't here because it only lasts for I think it's two hours, so it just it just doesn't feel right being able to pause but not being able to stay paused. It's uh it's kind of weird. I'm gonna be honest, this next comment just hits me in the soul a little bit. A veteran player UA says, ever since COD turned out to be a grind game more than a fun one, I stopped playing it. And this is more against the camo grind argument, because now it's just all about sweating out Warzone, and for zombies, it's just grinding camos non-stop. And personally, I can grind for one or two camos, maybe get diamond on a few things, but sometimes you get really burnt out really quickly. I mean, I personally do anyway. If I'm just sat there for like 12 hours a day just grinding camos non-stop, I do also see the argument that it can be pretty chill as well though, but I gotta agree with a veteran player on this one. This is a great comment here from Optical Beast. It reads, they'll have to do a No Man's Sky level of comeback. Now for those that don't know, No Man's Sky was a game that the devs promised there was going to be a lot of really good stuff in the game, and when it came out, everyone just dogged on the game. They pummeled the game to the ground. It was banished to the Shadow Realm for the longest time until one day the devs were like, you know what, let's just add a bunch of stuff into the game and uh, have a whole redemption thing going. And they did just that. They added all of the stuff and more that they said was going to be in the game, and it still got a good, active, healthy player base now, and people's opinion of the game is really positive. It took them some time to pull off, but it was definitely worth it for the game devs. And that's what our commenter Optical Beast is saying here. Treyarch are gonna have to pull a mad clutch and save what is considered to be the worst iteration of zombies we've ever seen. And now for the last comment, I had to save the best till last here. This comes from Happy Gamer, just bear that name in mind. They say, I already sold my copy. This game deserves to die. I literally love this comment, like, the name Happy Gamer is perfect for the tone of the comment. It's completely the opposite. This guy woke up, bought Vanguard, installed it, played it, and then was just not a happy gamer ever since that fateful day. And now this guy is vexed and is out for vengeance. Happy Gamer died a long time ago, and now it's time for the new character arc, Angry Gamer. It's one of the most beautiful comments I've ever read, and I just had to save this one until the last comment. But there have been some thoughts from Zombies players as to whether or not this Shino Numa Reborn and round based gameplay is going to bring them back to Vanguard Zombies. And it looks like overall the answer is no, or at least not fully. Even if they go and try and play the game, I'm sure they won't stay for very long. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this video here today. This has been another episode of I Asked Zombies Players. This has been a long one, so if you stayed till the end, then you have big PP energy. If you enjoy, be sure to smash the like button. If you want to add to this discussion, comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Turn on the notification bell too to stay notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.